Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. So it is the 30th of December and I'm only picking up my camera now because like everybody else in the world, I was sick this Christmas. I actually don't think I know one friend or one family member that wasn't sick around Christmas this year. It's just rampant, whatever it is that's going around. But thankfully I'm feeling so much better now. My voice still does sound a little bit tired, I'm aware. But I actually do feel 100% and I'm officially back in the gym, back in my routine and I genuinely couldn't be happier. So this Christmas was definitely a little bit different for me. It was much busier than usual and I spent a lot more time than ever, I would say, um, out of routine. So I went to Vegas with the Alfley team, which was absolutely amazing. We went to the Olympia Expo. Um, I think we did four or five days there and then straight from Vegas, I went to the UK to spend some time with Alex's family for Christmas. And then on Christmas Eve, we flew in. I think we landed at home at about 5 or 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve and then I hosted Christmas this year so it literally has been non-stop since mid-December which is something I'm definitely not used to. Normally Christmas time for me is just like a really peaceful time. At home not doing much, normally quite organized and this year was just the, honestly the complete opposite of that. I personally couldn't wait to get back to the gym. Once I started feeling better a few days ago I was straight back into it. Have a new training routine, back tracking my food and I feel great for so for today's video, I'm basically going to give you some tips and tricks and just some advice on what I got up to this week when getting back into routine. Say hello. Show me your new collar and your new tag. Look. Alex got him a little engraved tag for his collar. I'm not sure about you guys, but I genuinely got to a point this week where I was so sick of sitting down and so sick of just not doing anything. I think like there's a fine line for me between sitting down and watching TV and like not having any plans and enjoying it. I get to a point where it's literally like flip of a switch and I'm just ready to get back into routine. And I had that a lot earlier than usual this year. Like normally the time between Christmas and New Year is spent like relaxed and doing what I just said, like watching TV and just basically having no plans. But I started my Christmas celebrations early this year and I was genuinely itching to get back into just feeling like myself again because I felt like an absolute slob. I also feel like there can definitely be some judgment around what you should be doing this time of the year. I feel like it's almost frowned upon to be back in the gym and back in the swing of things before New Year's Eve but my advice is to just do whatever makes you happy and if that means you sitting down and watching TV and relaxing then there's absolutely no problem with that but if it means you getting back to your usual foods or wanting to work on your health and fitness then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. Each to their own as I said do whatever makes you happy and don't worry about people judging you or worrying about what you should be doing at this time of the year. Just do whatever you want with your time off. Speaking of judgment, I may or may not have actually taken down my tree last night. This is definitely the earliest I've ever taken down my decorations guys but look at how peaceful it is. It was so cluttered with all the decorations and I was so over it so voila. I took them down last night and I have absolutely no regrets to be honest. So yeah, I just got to that point last night where I genuinely couldn't look at it any longer and I just wanted to go into the new year without anything left from this year's. So all the decorations are down, the tree is down. I promise I'm not a Grinch. I actually genuinely do love Christmas, but it was just a very long Christmas period for me this year and I was ready to pack it up. Speaking of Christmas, this is one of the Christmas gifts that Alex got me. It is a coffee machine. So I'm going to make my first coffee of the day. I'm actually starving as well. I'm going to put on my breakfast too. But with my kitchen, I'm going to be getting a white marble countertop. Any of the things that I bought for the countertops are cream. So Alex added this to the little collection because I used to drink just disgusting instant coffee. To be fair to him, he matched it perfectly with everything else that's in the kitchen. So well done him. So I have these pods. These ones are strength six because I'm not normally a coffee drinker. So I think this is plenty of strength for me for now. But yeah, these are the pods I'm going to use for today. Guys, this is really embarrassing, but this is actually my first time making my own coffee with it because Alex always makes my morning coffee and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to wait for. This looks delicious. So breakfast this morning is a usual staple. I'm gonna have a scoop of Women's Best Ice Away. So with my shake, I normally have half water, half milk because I don't like it like when it's just with water. So I add like a little bit of milk in it as well. I'm gonna have some Weetabix or the Aldi version, Wheat Bisques. I'm gonna have a banana and then I'm also gonna have a scoop of collagen peptides. And of course, with the Ice Away, there is like little to no lactose in it. So it doesn't bloat me, which is great. 
and here we have it guys this is a very popular breakfast especially when i know i'm going to be training early it's a good hit of carbs a little bit of caffeine and some protein which is perfect okay guys i have literally just placed you on the spin bike it's a very random thing to have in the living room i'm aware but i have nowhere else to put it and now it's acting as a tripod so at least it's one to function speaking of spin bikes i'm actually looking to invest in a good spin bike so the one i have i think i paid about 150 200 euro for it it was an absolute bargain at the time to be fair and it was exactly what i needed but i really do use that bike a lot and i think i'm ready to like get myself a little upgrade in my spin bike so i have heard of ones where it has like an interactive screen and you can like race other people you can see who's online you can like schedule to race people at certain days and certain times and stuff you can see like a racing trail on your screen that to me sounds like my spin session would go so much faster because i'd actually be occupied but i'm not sure what brands to look out for if any of you have really good spin bikes at home or ones that you recommend that aren't like too big please do comment below because my birthday is coming off so i think this year i might treat myself to like a cool new spin bike because it is something that i use a lot i almost forgot to let you know about my 2023 transformation challenge so sign ups are officially live so for anyone that isn't familiar with my challenges i normally run two per year so one in january and then one normally just before the summer depending on how busy things are at the time the first place gets two thousand euro cash Second place this year, I actually went all out and I'm going to give um, AirPods Max and an Alphalete voucher. And then third place, we also have free coaching and COM fitness vouchers up for grabs. So with the challenges, you do get fully customized meal plans, customized training plans, video demonstrations for all your exercises. You get 24 seven support by me. So changing your workouts, changing your meal plans, if you just need some accountability or advice or motivation, that's what I'm here for. So I'll be there to support you every step of the way. You also get access to my app. So that's where you can view all your meal plans and workouts and your shopping lists. So everything is in one place and it's super organized for you. And then of course, guys, you get access to my private Facebook group. So for this challenge in the Facebook group, I'm actually going to be running mini challenges. So I'm not going to tell you what the mini challenges are yet, but any of the girls in the Facebook group during the challenge will know. There's basically going to be five mini challenges. I'll be giving away mini little prizes for those challenges too, just to keep people motivated and keep you hyped in the group chat as well. So signups are now open. And by the time I post this video, I'm not sure how many spaces I'm going to have left because we are near capacity at the moment, but what I will do is leave the link in the description box. The signups are open until the 2nd of January and the challenge actually goes live on the 4th. I feel like the 4th of January was a good date because everyone's actually back to work then and back into routine and stuff. So I left signups open for a little bit longer and then the starting date is the 4th of January. So I basically coach you for 10 weeks and whoever gets the best transformation, puts in the most effort, is the most consistent on plan, can be chosen as a winner. So. It's always an exciting time, it's always a really busy time, but it's also super motivating. So if you're interested, I'll leave it as the first link in the description box. So I am ready for the gym, as you can see, but before I go, I thought I'd run through a couple of tips and tricks and just habits that you can implement for getting back into your routine and getting back on track in the new year. These are just a couple of things that I implemented myself this week that hopefully will help you too. So point number one, and one thing I always struggle with, is realizing that you can say no. I think this time of the year, especially with Christmas and New Year's and all the social activity that happens in the month of December, it can be really hard to learn your boundaries with saying no and just putting yourself first. Obviously this time of the year is a time for giving and a time for spending with your friends and family and that is completely fine. But I think it can get a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to focus on your goals and you just feel like you have to show up to every single event and be there for every single person. So I am here to let you know guys that it is okay to say no and it is okay to put yourself first. Coming into the new year, everyone's back to work in January, everyone's refocusing on themselves and I think it should be a huge sigh of relief for everyone to realise that you don't have to worry about pleasing everyone. You cannot help other people if you don't help yourself first. So just remember that for going into the new year, you don't have to show up at every event. You don't have to push your goals to the side for everyone else when something comes up. If you have a goal in mind and if you're working on yourself and if you're trying to be a better person, then don't ever feel guilty for saying no. Any of your real friends and family will understand. Another tip for going into the new year is to avoid the approach of 
restricting and cutting out foods and instead look to replace. So instead of restricting yourself and cutting out a whole food group or cutting out carbs or cutting out chocolate or any of the other foods that you may have like overindulged on over the last few weeks, there's no need to completely go cold turkey with food, like ever. I actually hate any approach that is like all or nothing when it comes to food. It's finding your middle ground and just making better choices. That is a much more sustainable approach and it's a lot easier to adhere to as well. So it's all about finding the middle ground and just making better choices for yourself. Remember, you're not doing this for anyone else. If you're trying to make some positive lifestyle changes, you are the only person that has to live in your body and you are in control of your own health and your own choices. So when it does come down to making better choices for your health or for your longevity just keep that in mind that you are completely in control and every day is an opportunity to wake up and make better choices for yourself another thing that i've done this week is prioritize my sleep i know i'm not alone when i say my sleep in december was honestly the worst like it was so bad so obviously i have makeup on right now but my eye bags for the last two weeks you can just tell my sleep hasn't been a priority but this week i made the change and honestly guys having a good sleep routine will project positivity into every single other aspect of your life. I can't emphasize it enough how important it is to prioritize your sleep. Even if you're not into fitness or lifting, like your overall health, your mental health, your mood, your appetite, everything is impacted by the quality of your sleep. So if there's one thing you're gonna do going into the new year, it's to get on top of your sleeping schedule. Couple of things that I do, I do my best to reduce my screen time, but to be honest guys, that's probably one of the things I struggle with the most. Like, it's not very realistic for me to be like, I'm just gonna cut out my screen time before bed because I'm often working late or I like watching TV before I sleep. So instead, using blue light blockers is a really, really good option because it'll stop the blue rays from getting into your eyes. The blue light from the TV or from your phone screen can inhibit the release of melatonin. And melatonin is what helps you fall asleep at night. So we wanna make sure that there's nothing inhibiting that. So picking up a pair of blue light blockers is always a great option if you do use your screens a lot before bed and on the topic of sleep guys another thing that I do is I try my best to get some sunlight in my eyes earlier on in the day I've mentioned this a few times in my vlogs but it really does make a massive difference to your circadian rhythm if you can get up even 10 or 15 minutes earlier and get some sunlight in your eyes it makes such a huge difference to regulating your circadian rhythm when it comes to getting back into your routine for the new year your sleep should be up there with like at least the top three things that you want to get in check first and one more tip for helping you get back on track in the new year guys is to start small and don't overwhelm yourself you don't need to wake up in the morning and completely spit your life around that approach will never work it's all about building better habits on the daily it's the small decisions you make each day that really do make the biggest difference it's not about cutting out a food group or training seven days a week or doing hours of cardio all of a sudden and just changing everything about your life. That's never gonna be a sustainable approach. What it really does come down to is the small decisions you make, like what you have for breakfast and how much sleep you get and cooking your own meals versus getting a takeaway. Getting your steps up and just moving more. You don't need to have a big master plan and a whole life-changing experience when it comes to the new year. It's just the small decisions, guys. Sleep, hydration, steps, exercise and food if you can make one good small decision with each of those each day i promise you you'll notice such a massive difference in your overall health well-being and your overall happiness in the new year
Okay guys, that is my leg session done. Today was one of those sessions where I thought I was recovered, like felt great coming in, and as soon as I lifted weights, I realized I'm still sore from, what day was that that we trained legs? About three days ago. Yeah, you're still sore too. He complains way more than I do though. <laughs> but yeah, I still did my best. I didn't hit any PBs today because I could definitely feel a little bit of soreness, especially in my hamstrings and glutes, but we still got it done. Another one ticked off. Alex just came for moral support today. Moral support and content. Getting content. Yeah. He's a hashtag influencer. I'm attempting. I'm trying my <laughs> best. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you in the next one.